Hello and welcome to another tutorial with the Artistic Per. Today we are doing a Japanese crepe and I'm just starting off here with a simple sketch. You can follow me along with the sketch or you can search Japanese crepe on Google and you'll find lots of images to reference from. For today's tutorial you will just need some watercolour paper, a pencil, a eraser, a watercolour paintbrush today I am using a aqua watercolour brush however you can use a normal brush you also need some water and your choice of watercolour paints so as you can see here in this tin I just have my aqua brushes which you just saw there and I'm just using my eraser to fix up some mistakes so let's continue on with this tutorial I will just continue on with this sketch and I shall go with you step by step through the process and towards the end of the tutorial you should have a completed Japanese crane painting. So I've just got out here my Winsor & Newton Cotman watercolour set and I'm just starting out with a black for the leg of the crane and I'm just using some simple back and forth strokes trying to blend in as I go along and I'm doing the same on the legs of the crane and also the tips of the wings as you can see here. So I'm just grabbing some paper and cleaning my brush because it's an aqua brush and I'm just using a purple moro colour here just to fill in the bottom part of the crane feathers just to add a bit of colour So now I'm 
just going in with a purple again on the wings and just cleaning my brush as I go with that paper again which is just a piece of scrap paper uh, these brushes are really awesome because you can just clean them really easily without any jars of water and now I'm just going in with a black again just to add a little bit of a uh, shadows where I would think that the last sort would be hitting or not hitting and I'm just and again concentrating on that last source and thinning out that black as I go and just going in with a that reddish pink again just for the top of the face of the Japanese crane so I decided the crane looked it a, a little bit awkward so I'm just drawing in a bamboo shoot like it's kind of uh, dancing beside the bamboo shoot in a forest so when you enjoy your drawings, you can actually use a number of reference photos. You don't have to stick with just the one. So for this, you can either find a Japanese crane up against a bamboo shoot, or you could just find a uh, pictures of uh, bamboo shoots to reference off, which is what I've done here. So now I'm just using my aqua water brush again and just going in with the green to fill in the leaves of the bamboo shoots. And just to fill in some lighter areas of the bamboo shoot itself.
So I've just switched to a darker green and just really in the stalks and the leaves of the bamboo shoots I chose a dark green because I was concentrating on my light source again and I was just focusing on the areas where I thought the sun would hit less So what I'm doing here is just adding some lighter green and see with the dark green just to add a bit more of a light source to the darker areas and I'm just pulling the in as I go with the darker shades. So I've just finished off the stalks now with a bit of a darker green. Uh, if you have liked this tutorial, please do remember to hit the subscribe button. I try to do art tutorials every week. Please do leave a comment down below if you've tried this tutorial. Bye bye. See you.